Today's video is a viewer requested video where I'm going to show you how to use a compressor to actually alter different frequency ranges inside of an individual sound. We're going to be duplicating the sound and doing a couple other things to it as well to make this work, but we want to be able to change the pitch of only the highs or only the lows inside of these sounds. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Here is the footage that we're going to be working with today, and specifically, we're going to be working with these two magic spell sound effects. So I'm going to get rid of the things that I have on them right now so that they're completely clean, but I'm going to leave the volume changes so they don't explode your ears. You're welcome. So let's watch this back so you can kind of get a feel for the footage that we're looking at, and then I'll show you exactly what we're going to change and how to change it to get the effect we're looking for. So we have our Google Home Mini here, and right here in the transition, I want to make it so that the magic spell, the high end of that sound effect, actually sounds lower pitched, so that the whole thing is just a little bit more of like a bassy hit, like the bass hit under it. We just want more bass in this transition. Right here, you can mute tracks just by clicking on that M, and this top one here is not muted. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our multi-band compressor out of our Audio FX, Fairlight FX. So if you need to search, you can search otherwise you just scroll to the bottom and then it's just about in the middle so we'll drop that right on top of our unmuted track and what we're gonna do is move this midline so this mid channel this mid band right toward the middle or as close as you want it to be and then we're gonna take everything on this lower end here and we're gonna just take it right out so we're gonna take the gain and drop that to negative 12 for both of these regions. And then we're gonna go ahead and close this. And now if we listen to it, you'll hear that it's a lot more airy. There's not as much depth to it. So let's check this out. You see what I'm saying there? The original, let's flip these, sounds like this. So you can see there's a bit more bass in there, but with this one, this lower one, we're gonna do the same thing, but in reverse. So we're gonna bring that toward the middle, and then we're gonna bring down these top bands. So now if we listen to these together, they should sound like one pretty much unaltered sound. Let's give this a go. Pretty much exactly that initial sound effect. So now we're gonna take the one that has only the higher frequency sounds, and we're gonna lower that pitch to give the whole thing more depth and less like harshness coming through the mix. So we'll go ahead and grab some semitones, some scents, and just turn those down some arbitrary number. And now if we hit play again, it should be a more rounded sound. Yeah, that's a lot more smooth. There's a lot less of those like harsh high ends. I really like that. I'm gonna leave that like this. So if we go back and listen to the whole thing again. If you wanna learn more about changing the pitch of your audio in DaVinci Resolve, check out the video that's about to show up in this end screen right now.